Okay, you may or may not hear some dog barking in the background, but I'm just gonna make this video, okay? And I know this channel is starting to look like a product channel, but anyway, I'm back from my little New Year's break, and I have an update for Tiny Eye, so I just wanted to make this quick demo video. So once again, Tiny Eye is a free, fully procedural, stylized eye that works in both EV and cycles. I put this together to speed up my workflow, which means the properties had to be minimal and straightforward. So let's go through all the properties once again, and I'll introduce the new properties along the way. There are three properties to look at. Firstly, we have the shape keys to adjust the iris, pupil, and the cornea. The iris by default is really large because the works that I do are very stylized, but turning up the iris size value to 1 shrinks it down to a more realistic proportion. Turning the pupil size value from negative 1 to 1 dilates or contracts the pupil. Turning the cornea bulge value to 1 creates the bulge that real eyes have, which by the way, the shape of the cornea bulge has been reworked and improved, so I recommend updating it to 1.1 if if you typically work with realistic eyes. Next, we have the iris note properties. The iris is the colored portion of the eye and the properties have been arranged to be tweaked from the top to the bottom. As you can see, there's only one color input to care about. It's not the most customizable, but it's fast. We have a brand new property called the primary ciliary zone. Turning it up to one introduces ciliary zone details such as the colorette, crypts, and its own radial streaks. This is great for achieving a more realistic result. The primary skill determines the amount of primary streaks introduced to the iris. The primary contrast determines how crisp or how soft the streaks are. The primary strength changes the brightness value and this is good for compensating for any loss or excess brightness. These primary properties also affect the primary ciliary zone so it's convenient. Next up by default, the secondary strength is set at zero. So turn it up to introduce finer streaks to complement the primary details. The secondary skill and contrast work the same way as they do with the primary properties. Dark ring or the limbo ring determines the radius of the mask. Top shadow introduces the shadow that is casted by the upper eyelid. Bottom glow makes the bottom portion of the eye glow and this works really nicely on darker eyes. I'd recommend turning it down for brighter eye colors such as baby blue eyes. Bottom hue changes the hue of the bottom portion of the eye to create a gradient effect. Another new and very necessary property is randomize which randomizes the primary and secondary details. Next up in slot number Number two, we have the sclera note properties. Sclera is the white portion of the eye, and again, I think color and specular is pretty self-explanatory. We have here another new property, and that's the cornea softness. This is necessary if you want realistic eyes. The roughness of the iris and the sclera are independent from one another, which is great for achieving fun, stylized results. Lastly, we have two new properties, shadow and blood, which gradually introduces them around the eye. I will improve this along the way as I continue continue to use tiny eye in my own projects. And since we're on that, if you have any suggestions that would help improve tiny eye, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below or tweet it at me on Twitter. Keep in mind, the goal here is minimal and straightforward. So that's it. Thank you all so, so much for 50k followers on Instagram and 1.2k subscribers on YouTube. So consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.